In this video, we'll look at finding the sum of two vectors when we're given their magnitude and the angles between them. So the two vectors we have are u and v, and we're told that the magnitude of u is 12, and the magnitude of v is 21, and the angle between them is 70. So the first thing we're going to do is draw a diagram. It doesn't really matter how you draw it. Let's say that the vector u looks like this. Let's say that the vector v looks like this, and that the angle between them is 70 degrees. If you remember vectors, then what we're going to do is draw our parallelogram. That is, we're going to redraw them tail to tail. So here's u, and then we're going to add on vector v. So it goes u, v, and also v, and then u. We get a nice parallelogram, which didn't quite join up, so change that with a little bit of eraser magic. There we go. And we know this angle is 70 degrees, which means, based on the C pattern, since these two angles are supplementary, they add to 180, this angle in here has to be 110. And that's good to put before we put the resultant vector, or the addition, of the two vectors down the middle. This is the vector u plus v, or vector u plus vector v. Let's redraw that triangle with the numbers. That is, I'm just going to draw, let's say I'll draw, you can pick the top piece, or you can pick the bottom piece. I'll pick the top piece and just redraw it so we can see it looks like this, and like this. And once again, this is vector u plus vector v, this is vector u, this is vector v. The angle in here is 110 degrees. And you know what? In this diagram, I don't really want to call it u. I want to look at the actual numbers. It is. This will be my magnitude of 12 and my magnitude of 21. So I have side, side, and angle between them, or SAS. This is a case for cosine law. So I'm going to solve this. That is, I'm going to look for the sum of these two vectors' magnitude by going vector u plus vector v equals, and now cosine law. Cosine law is 12 squared plus 21 squared minus 2 times 12 times 21 times the cosine of 110. If you need help from where I got this cosine law formula, I recommend watching the video on cosine law, which I think is finding the value of cosine law for a side. And you can look up that video. Back to this question. Oh, look, I've made a mistake, too. Forgot to put the squared here. Very important, very common mistake. This is, I'm solving right now for, according to the cosine law formula, the magnitude of vector u plus vector v squared. That's how the formula works. Again, watch the video. Maybe I should go back and watch it. So we have 12 squared plus 21 squared. I'm going to do this whole calculation on my calculator right now. Minus 2 times 12 times 21 times the cosine of 110 degrees. And I get 757 point, let's round to three decimals here, 378. And this is the magnitude of the vector, that's some vector, squared. So the last thing I'm going to do to find the actual magnitude is square root. Put a rounding dot because I'm going to square root this number. So what's the square root of 757.378? And I get approximately 27.5. Put my approximate dot, need my units. Oh, and there were no units in this question. It was just given as base units, so I can just leave it as 27.5. I'm trying to find the sum of the two vectors, and I've got the magnitude. The last thing I need is to figure out the angle the angle is going to tell me what angle this sum vector is compared to either v or compared to u. doesn't matter. Since I drew my diagram here, I picked the top part of the triangle, I'm going to find theta in here and talk about this sum vector's magnitude compared to this 12, or vector u. I'm going to solve for theta. How do I do that? Sine law. Again, I recommend watching the video on sine law which tells you that the sine of this angle over the opposing side, 21, equals the sine of 110 over its opposing side, which we just found, 27.5.
I'm going to do this whole calculation at once on my calculator. I'll show you one step actually is I'm going to get sine theta by itself by multiplying both sides by 21. So you get 21 times sine of 110 all over 27.5. And from there I'm going to go right to finding the angle theta. So watch how I do it on my calculator. First thing I'm going to do is say shift sign, that is I'm inversing sign to solve for theta. I'm going to take the inverse sign of this whole thing. I'm going to put this whole thing in brackets, so I take the inverse sign of brackets, 21 times sine 110 divided by 27.5, close the bracket, so it takes the inverse sign, and I get approximately 46 degrees. So my final answer is the vector u plus v vector's magnitude is 27.5, and its direction is at an angle of 46 degrees to, and remember I picked this angle, which was with respect to vector u. So what we did here was find the sum of two vectors, given their magnitudes and the angle between them. And the way we found it was to use cosine law and then sine law with respect to the drawing. The drawing was very important in helping us determine how to solve.